No, I did not just put a barrel extension on it. How lame would that be? You're lame for thinking it. But, yes. Big Blue, 18.5. Took it back from Armageddon. Uh, which, by the way, I didn't get any footage from Armageddon. And the reason was, was because I tried to use a different camera angle. And it got most of my head in this time. It was a shoulder cam. So, I came back. Last round, I was using this. Okay. I had 250 rounds left. I had used almost every one except for one magazine, which I accidentally left full and I didn't realize it. And at the very last round, I was guarding the carp bucket, the same one that OC, this is the same one that OC put, in war, um, OC Nerf put up, and I was guarding a carp bucket with my last magazine, half a magazine of the mouse fire. Like, there it is, right there with that blue magazine. Yeah, you got it. And um, it, it was really good cover fire. Um, unfortunately, when there are people on the one side of the quad, which are 185 away, it would go, when I missed them, it would go past that, and it would hit the people all the way to the spawn. And there were a couple of people, like Grove, told me, yeah, I was in spawn, and I got nailed. I'm like, I'm sorry, I was aiming for the people in front of you, but I'm sorry about that. Grove and Zaxby, two very legendary players, SoCal, they live in Irvine, but dude, I got home, and I decided to take one of my back burner projects and just do it. And that was to correct the 3D printed Jet Merlin that they tried to build and they couldn't build. Okay. I, myself, and I got to ship this out. I know I'm like really behind. I made another Merlin for a friend in the Philippines. He's about to get this. I'm a perfectionist, but yeah, this thing fires great. Okay. I get those to shoot great, but what about the 3D printed one? Well... Let's see if we can get a good enough camera angle to really show it. It's kind of tough to, to show you. But I had worked on it and came up with a solution to fix it. And it fires ACC-3s at, at like a dream. But it is made for a blaster that already shoots past 300 feet per second. Okay, so here we go. Now this is the way I built this. This was a 3D printed thing. Made to fit around three-quarter pipe. This is three-quarter anodized aluminum. And it just pops out. So here you got right here. You guys remember this. This is their, your normal big blue with a 17 with a 1 and an 8th Ultra Match barrel on it. Well, all you do is you have an insert that's made out of brass, okay? And this sucker interlocks into my barrel into there. Into here and into here. Now what I did with this is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, okay, so... This was the SLA printed Merlin that they had built. It had two problems. One, the bore of the, um, either because of shrinkage or when you print, it causes problems, wasn't exact. So I took a piece of stainless steel, I ringed it out. And that's why the rails look nice and shiny. But another thing is that I took three eighths of an inch off the front. So you have a tiny bit amount of countersink on here. And it's not quite the outer diameter of, uh, the, I'm sorry, the inner diameter of 9 16 like it's supposed to be. It's a little smaller. It's about the outer diameter of 17 seconds. And even though they're very close, it's still a, a small number. So Merlin was never quite recreated properly, even though my production engineer did his best and he tried. The other thing was, anybody who's got one of these that Jet gave you or sold you or whatever, um, there is a line... Now here is this right here. You see this little, there's a little tab, little white, yeah, you see that right on the top. Okay, put in mind that SLA is semi-transparent. What does that mean? It means when it's printing, it's printing with light. And what's it gonna do if you have a design there and you have a mission critical design on the inside? It's gonna print through the other side. So these never fired as well as the brass ones. Until now, why? Well. I had to take a rat, a rat tail file, and if you look at it in person, you can actually see the line. It's like, and you can't, you can, you can still see remnants of it, even though it's the same diameter. But it's, but I did such a good job doing, you know, Merlin surgery on this, that I actually did it. And I did want, this is a memorable piece. This is one of my prototype pieces that we had worked on. And we can never get these to shoot as well as the brass ones. Well... That line has to go. So basically, this locking lug, get rid of it, get rid of it. You need to put it on the screw-on part, 
which is not as critical. Because anything that's on that barrel, well, the problem is, is that it was high enough that when it, it would clip the darts. And I noticed when I was firing it, I kept hearing a, a snap sound, a very small little snap sound. Well, it turns out it was that. It was exactly that. So I filed that out, and then I counted board the inside of it, 1730 seconds OD. And you can see what, okay, you can see where that, that the finger stops about three eighths in, right? And then after that, it's kind of like an ultramatch port. Well, I fired this outside. Take a fucking look, guys. I mean, shit, that is just, like, totally stable flight. And I was shooting an ACC version 5. I then shot the 3s, and the 3s normally don't go as far, and they normally don't shoot as stable, but you know what? They were shooting great. I think I lost maybe 10 foot of range, but when you're talking about Blaster, that's shooting, like, 230 flat. Uh, 10 feet of range isn't much. And, d dude, even, like, saggy, even, like, ones with ends like that, like version three, so we're doing that. Yeah, it still fired absolutely phenomenal. And the 18 inches is exactly the amount of air that's in the tube when you do it into a one to seven to one ratio. If you count the dead space in the breech on an alpha breech, which is 10 millimeters, and you factor in um, three and seven eighths inches of draw, which is exactly what I had. Now, put in mind, 18 might not work for yours. And the reason why, okay, if you shorten, if you have a lot of padding and you shorten it to three inches of draw, three and a quarter, you're going to need more like 16 overall or 14 overall. Or if you're using an alpha tube, which is 35 millimeters instead of 36, you're going to cut it down to 14 is actually the best. So, yeah. But this thing, oh my gosh. Ah. It even feels like a sniper rifle now. You know, it's short on the back, but, you know, your HK rifles are like that. Um, in 91, you have a collapsible stock, and it tends, and even though it locks up, people tend to move it forward when they fire. So I'm used to having my arm out like that. That's that's not a big deal. Also, look how far my arm is. Look how far extended it is. Yeah. Even for a long shot, you know? Yeah. Uh-huh. Still has an air seal. You can see it's a little, very little hiss because I am literally at absolute positive maximum length with this. And the best part, of course, is that you can take this fucker right off. So if a dart's not doing it for you, you can just run normal. If you just want to run normal because you're running heavier darts or whatever, that's fine too. Yeah, look how long that barrel is, guys. Hoo 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 Yeah, it really does look cool. I'm thinking of changing this, making it 3D printed like a, like a three ring. Kind of like the HKs have. Oh, that'd be bitching. That'd be bitching if I made this like, like the like the like the ring, like like uh, like my bird of prey pistols. They have that little ring on them. Yeah, for sight. That'd be really cool. So, any rate, I wanted to do that. How did Army get and go? Well, I will tell you more about it and more stuff, including why there is no Mister Jet on here during the Nerf news. Hopefully tonight. Maybe it will it will be shot tonight. And here tomorrow, we'll see. I do a lot of prep work for that show. So at any rate, this is Chris Cartea. Don't you go changing. Or this is going to be hanging out a window, and you're going to be, oh, shit, it's Chris!